Hey, welcome to the Fix It Boys channel. Um, today we're putting in rollers on the slide out on the RV. Um, and what caused this was, uh, I thought it was the cables, you know, and the coat, the slide out was jumping and uh, adjusted the cables, that wasn't it. And then I did some more investigation work. And so on, on your slide, all it is, is it rests on, and I forgive me because I can't remember the what they call this black stuff. And then this is, I've already cut out this right here. And that, that, that sits in there like that. I'm, I'm, I'm fixing to take this one out right here to show you. And that's all that that rides on, if you can see that. So this is stationary in there like that. And then as this coach goes in and out, it just rubs on that. Well, when it's brand new, it's fine. It goes in and out easy. But then after a few years, you see out dirt, everything, it starts scuffing that up. And it usually is starts worse on the edges. And you can see down here on this edge where it's doing it the same. So I learned that it was just a bad engineering design. So I bought these rollers. Um, hand me one of the rollers. I'll give you the part number for mine. Um, and here, I'll just shoot you the... And I got these off of Amazon. I think they were, I don't know, 15, 20 bucks a piece. I can't remember for sure. But that is the, the J36. That's the number you're looking for. And it's, it's, they, all they do is raise your coach about maybe an eighth of an inch. All right. So here, this one here, and all you do is you get your cutoff saw here. You know, squat, get down here, video, video. So, just get you, you, of course, you jack up your coach to where you got clearance and under there. And then you just get your cut, cut down both sides because this whole flap, you know, you think that you can take this flap off, but it's not. As you can see, it's all one piece and here's that deal that it's been riding on. Okay, now you have some of the, and I, again, I can't remember what that black stuff's called. Just cut that. So now you, this is, you're screwing into wood. Now this roller, you just put that roller in and it butts up into the wood. And my screws. Okay. So I just get a couple of lag bolts. Here's the, I think they're inch and a quarter. Put that in there like that. Make sure, one thing, let me go over, that you cut out enough on these two sides where this doesn't hit. Not just this wide, you gotta go as wide as this, okay? So you put it in there. Make sure that's not going to hit anything. Put that in there like that. Alright. So now I've got, I put four on this one. This is my kitchen slide. So I got, and the critical ones, as you can see by the wear right here, are on the ends. So I got one here, and I got one there, one there, and then one on the very end. And they're all installed. So now we are going to lower the jack. And I'm just gonna sit in under here while he lowers it. And you can watch, watch as we lower it down. Yep. Now it's sitting on the rollers. Take my blocks off. All right. Now here, Brian. Oh, yeah. Now. 
No, it's all right. You can just show it on me. <sighs> now, I'm gonna go just show it on the coach. Now we're gonna see if it does that jump. Oh my gosh, look how smooth that is. And it just goes in like glass. And out. And trust me, before, Yeah, trust me, before it was jumping, it would just sit there. You, you thought that the whole thing was gonna shake apart, it was jumping so bad. So that right there took, I had a buddy of mine, he's down here helping me, 30 minutes to do that, to cut those out, put those bolts in there, took, it took us maybe 30 minutes. Thanks for watching the, subscribe below. Thank you.